Hi everybody, Paul here, and today I am off-site. We're at CAG Labs. This is Jeremy. And uh, for you today we have not one, but two Intel X25M G2 SSD drives. We're gonna, we're gonna test these, and we're gonna see how fast they are, and we're gonna see what kind of results we can get. So, uh, stay tuned. We're running our tests on Jeremy's main rig, which features an Intel Core 2 Extreme QX9650 Yorkfield CPU overclocked to 4 GHz. It's also got 4 GB of DDR2 memory and an EVGA N4780i SLI motherboard. Our zero point drive is a 150GB Western Digital Velociraptor, which is widely hailed as the gold standard for high performance magnetic hard drives. Two SSDs, each at 74GB capacity. We're running Crystal Disk Mark on our Intel G2s and testing both single drive performance as well as a basic striped RAID 0 2 drive setup using the motherboard's built in NVIDIA RAID controller. Whoa. These are synthetic benchmarks, but the G2s definitely live up to the hype. We were blown away by the 250 megabytes per second sequential read times for the single drive and the incredible 400 megabytes per second sequential reads in RAID 0. Keep in mind that this is plug and play performance. We simply installed the G2s and ran our tests. We also took first place on the Datamark benchmarking high score site in the single drive 50 to 100 gig category. For our testing, we actually used a retail and an OEM version of these drives, so we can confirm that they do work together if you're planning on buying one of each. For the retail version, you get an additional installation CD as well as a very sturdy mounting bracket with screws. And with both the retail and the OEM version, you get a three-year manufacturer warranty with Intel. One final thing to mention about the G2 is that it uses 32 nanometer NAND flash memory, which is very small and very fast memory, but it's also in very short supply right now, being a new technology. Combine this with the buzz caused by review and benchmark reports such as the ones you've seen today, and we're seeing a very short supply coupled with a very high demand. This means that enthusiasts who want to get their hands on a G2 today will pay a premium, but for those of us who are willing to wait a little while until Intel can ship more units, we're bound to see what I'm going to call the SSD revolution, that being the confluence of price and performance that will let your average home user use an SSD as a primary boot drive in their mid-range PC. Well, I hate to say goodbye to my G2s, but that's going to be it for today, everyone. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time on Newegg TV. Look at these poor CRT monitors. So lonely, sitting in the corner. Facing the wall, as if in punishment. <laughs>